Imagine being transported to a world beyond your wildest dreams. That's exactly what the Apple VR headset promises to deliver in 2023. With breathtaking 8K resolution displays, immersive spatial audio, and advanced tracking technology powered by the M2 chip, this headset is sure to take you to new dimensions. And there is one more thing. There is a secret feature that will make you want to stand in line for hours to get your hands on this revolutionary technology for a price tag of $3,000. But more on that later. With Apple set to release their mixed reality headset in 2023, and with analyst Ming-Chi Kuo tweeting that ongoing delays could push mass shipment of the device for the general public back to the end of the third quarter. Apple is said to be working on at least three AR VR headsets. Bloomberg's Mark Gurman reports that two of those will be called Apple Reality One and Apple Reality Pro. The Reality Pro is said to be something that can rival the MetaQuest Pro. Reality Pro is said to be a combination of virtual reality and augmented reality, hence being referred to as a mixed reality headset. There is also a report about a digital crown designed like the crown on the Apple Watch, which you can use to switch between virtual reality and augmented reality by doing a little twist on the headset. The MetaQuest Pro already has a similar feature where you double tap on the side of the headset and switch between AR and VR, so this won't be a revolutionary feature. Mark Gurman's Bloomberg report says that with the Reality Pro, you won't need to hold a controller. The headset will have voice commands and will also map your hands to help object selection by pointing and pinching your fingers. It will also come with cameras inside to track your eyes to know where you are looking. It is said that Apple is also developing an interface dedicated to mixed reality, and it will be called the XR OS, previously known as the Reality OS. XR stands for Mixed Reality. The XR OS will have a virtual workstation where you will have your Mac displayed in VR and control it with a physical mouse and keyboard. XR OS is said to have a very familiar UI, almost like a blend of iOS and Mac OS. Instead of having a home page, your apps could be floating around you. According to Bloomberg's Mark Gurman, the Reality Pro headset could potentially be announced officially this summer at WWDC and will likely retail for around $3,000 towards the end of Q3. Needless to say, with a team of more than 1,000 people currently working on this project and millions and millions of dollars being invested. According to Gurman, the headset will be reminiscent of Apple's AirPod Max and will be made from glass and aluminum and will have cushioning to provide comfort to the wearer. The screen on the front will be a curved display that will even show the wearer's eyes. The Reality Pro will likely feature an updated version of Apple's M2 processor and come complete with a battery pack and will last at least 8 hours on a single charge. The mixed reality headset will utilize several external cameras to track users' hands, along with internal sensors to track the user's eyes. The Apple VR headset will therefore know where you are looking and what you are looking at, and will allow users to interact with the 3D interface by simply pinching with their thumb and index finger. Despite delays, Apple will be doing everything in their power to ensure their headsets hit the market before the 2023 holiday season. With this kind of tech and these kinds of features, Apple has invested a lot of money into the product. And with such a hefty price tag connected to it, they're certainly taking a real gamble. Especially since the MetaQuest Pro is a similar headset and only costs half as much. Whether that gamble pays off, however, remains to be seen. But one thing is for sure, mixed reality is here to stay. Recently, Google, Samsung, and Qualcomm recently joined forces to start developing mixed reality technologies, so competition is definitely growing. It has been reported that Apple's mixed reality headset will have one unique feature that no other VR headset currently on the market will have. 
The Apple Mixed Reality headset features technology that will allow users to recreate their entire faces and body movements virtually. But hold on, we've seen this tech already in the MetaQuest Pro and even with Apple's Memoji. So what makes Apple's ability to allow users to create digital avatars so unique? Well, Apple's Mixed Reality headset will allow users to recreate their faces in an ultra-realistic manner, rather than in a simple cartoon-like design. First, let's explore how this tech works on the MetaQuest Pro. In Horizon Worlds, you create a 3D avatar, and the Quest Pro uses its cameras to tell you when to make a facial expression. What Apple is doing could go much further. Bloomberg reports that the camera on the Apple VR headset will be so advanced that they will process views from different angles to recreate your entire body down to the tiniest of details so that you can feel like you are actually in the same room as someone else. If you can think about it, Apple can actually pull this off. Apple already has a similar feature where the iPhone can be used as a webcam for a FaceTime call on a Mac. And there is an option to show what's below at your desk without moving the camera at all. This is achieved by using the iPhone's wide-angle camera. So ideally, Apple could use wide-angle cameras and point down all these cameras in the headset to your chin and lower body, map out the exact representation of your body. Obviously, this requires a lot of processing power, which is why the M2 processor would be the best fit for these headsets. If Apple can pull this off, it will be the most realistic VR and AR headset on the market by far and will provide the most immersive VR experience on the market. Apple's mixed reality headset could very well revolutionize the worlds of VR and AR as we know them today and will finally deliver the virtual reality experience that people have longed for for decades. No more cartoon avatars and cheap animations users will finally be able to see digital virtual versions of themselves in VR and AR environments, giving the most realistic experience to date. So, all of these are great features the Apple Mixed Reality headset could offer. But you might ask, where could you even consider buying this headset? My guess is that Apple will try to use its media connections to get you interested in mixed reality. Maybe they can get deals on where their customers can attend concerts in mixed reality or watch sports events and feel like they are actually in the stadium. Who knows what we'll see? But I am curious to know what is important to you in a VR headset. What magic will Apple need to pull off to get you interested in a pair of Reality Pro?